Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and the Chelsea Save. And in today's episode, it is the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool. Another chance for um, another trophy. It's um, a lot of times now we've been at Wembley. Once again, we find ourselves in the Cup final. Didn't win either of them last season. We uh, went out of the FA Cup, I think, at the semi final stage. And then we were runners up in the uh, final last year to Man United losing on penalties. We're going to tr try and go a step further today and beat Liverpool in this final. Last episode, we uh, knocked out Bournemouth at the semi-final stage after a 3-2 win at home. Uh, we drew 1-1 uh, against AFC Bournemouth away from home to uh, book our place in the final. Liverpool knocking out Arsenal. So, um, yeah, that leads us on to today. No less than seven matches played off screen. I've been a busy boy. First one was FA Cup, fourth round tie. Uh, we had Leeds United. We won 4 0. It was it was very, very comfortable. Um, Leeds, they're a division lower than us, and they showed it. We, we won 4 0. Alonso with a ninth minute goal. Um, he's been scoring well recently. He scored three in his past sort of four or five games. He's been really good. Got us uh, the first goal. Ross Barkley scored on 14 minutes to make it 2 0. Um, nice early two goal lead. In the second half, Ruben Loftus-Cheek scored to make it 3-0 after getting an assist as well. Good performance by the uh, the Englishman. And then on 18 minutes, it was Ethan Lampardi with his first Chelsea goal, uh, getting number four for us. Convincing 4-0 win, put us through to the next round of the FA Cup where uh, we took on Burnley. And that game I'll show you uh, shortly because we played that as well. Before the Cup game though, we faced them in the Premier League at uh, Turf Moor and it was a 3-0 win. Rodrigo with a first half brace for Chelsea, scoring in the 25th minute and then adding a second in first half injury time, 2-0 lead. Uh, Loftus Cheek scored on 68 minutes, scoring in back-to-back -back matches to make it 3-0. And um, yeah, again, another convincing performance of routine when Burnley finished the match with 10 men, Jordan Williams getting a second yellow card late on in the game. But another convincing performance. Then we uh, hosted West Brom, of course promoted from the Championship, and it was a 3-1 win. Um, didn't get any goals in the first half though, but we turned it on in the second half, had a bit of a go, um, and they responded well. Rodrigo with another two goals, scoring on 52 minutes, uh, and then Hazard scored on 56 minutes to make it 2-0, and then Rodrigo with his second of the match on 61 minutes, so three goals in the space of about 10 minutes, just a really good spell. Uh, West Brom did get a goal themselves, uh, Diego uh, Lachelle, I think that's how you say it. He's a Uruguayan. I think he's a, uh, was he a defender? No, he's a, he's a winger. But, um, he got the goal for West Brom, uh, so no clean sheet, but um, another convincing performance. That was their only shot on target. So, uh, yeah, we did well once again. Really tough game against Manchester United. It was a 1-1 draw at uh, Old Trafford. Paul Pogba with a goal from a set piece on 18 minutes. Um, then uh, we did manage to equalise in the second half, uh, Mandzukic on 62 minutes. Uh, making sure that we didn't lose but this was a tough one and United could have won it they had chances they did very well um, but we were okay we got the goal but I think on another day we could have played a lot better just lucky that we managed to keep this run of scoring going we're doing so well at the moment in terms of scoring goals this is the closest we've come to uh, failing to score this season then we had the first leg of our Champions League last 16 tie we uh, of course have drawn Benfica and in the first leg in Portugal we did lose 2-1 Benfica were by far the better team. This is a, a weak performance by us, and it's not like us at all. This is the worst we've played in quite a while. Benfica, 24 shots to our nine and more possession. We just weren't on our game in this one. The two Benfica goals came from uh, Christoph Piatek. Uh, they've also got Herving Lozano, who they signed uh, from PSV uh, just this past transfer window. So another signing made there. He got a goal on 27 minutes, and then in the second half, he converted a penalty, which was given away by I think it was Impadu, the reason why he's got a low rating. Um, we got a crucial away goal though, Rodrigo on 73 minutes, pulled one back for us. And that away goal could be huge when we come to our second leg, which uh, I don't think will be in a very long time at all. And I feel like that's one we should play. It's a must win game for us and I think we should be playing it, but I think it might be either immediately after this cup final or not long after. So I feel like we need to play that. Then it was Burnley in the FA Cup fifth round. Again, it was at Turf Moor, and again, we won 3-0. Two very early goals coming from Eden Hazard and from Rodrigo. So 2-0 up within eight minutes. Got a third goal on 80 minutes. Jaden Sancho coming off the bench to uh, make it three. Burnley ended with nine men. Ben Mee got a second jelly card on 63 minutes. And uh, deep in a stoppage time, John Williams received a straight red card. Uh, it's the second time... 
in the game lost green that he got a red card because he got sent off in the league match and they was got a straight res in the cup match so uh, John Williams obviously doesn't like Chelsea another good performance in the cup and uh, in the sixth round the last eight of the cup uh, we're going to wait on a replay but it's going to be either Newcastle or Manchester City I'm expecting it to be Man City but we will wait and see but um, hopefully Newcastle do something against uh, Man City it's entirely possible I actually just realised that I did not go through that Spurs match. I forgot about it. Um, it was a 1-0 win. Um, Rodrigo with the only goal. Spurs did have the ball in the net. Uh, I think it was early in the second half, but it was disallowed. Uh, Nabil Fakir, I think it was. Um, it wasn't a particularly good match. Uh, we had more shots than them. We were the, the far better team just couldn't finish off our chances. Rodrigo got the only goal on 28 minutes. Um, I just realised I didn't go through it. So I might move this to the start of the video and jump it in there. But um, yeah, we won 1 0 against our rivals. That was good. So we got some good results, especially in the league. I think we won all but one and we stayed unbeaten. So that's seen us just a point behind Man United now. So they must have dropped more points. They drew against us. They must have done some other stuff as well. Um, they just lost to Villa. But today's focus is Liverpool and this cup final. So let's jump into it. Um, in terms of transfer news, actually, before we jump into that, didn't sign anyone, but we have sold uh, Kurt Zuma to uh, Real Madrid, £32 million, pounds, could rise to £40 million. Other than that, just a few lone players going out. Lewis Baker went to Derby for a £1 million, pounds, but not a player that I was ever planning on using. Uh, we just ran out of time looking for a wing-back. We did have a look for some wing-back options. Pass lack, we did make a bid for, but um, £60 million is quite a lot for a player like that, and we didn't have £60 million. We were just shy of that in the budget. Uh, we also looked at another German option, Weisser. We even tried... Um, offering to take him on loan for half a season but they didn't want to let him go so we've ended up empty-handed but I think we'll be okay Moses is still here he turned down the contract from Wolves and he snubbed them so he's still here and um, yeah we've still got Zabacosta as can still do a job at wing back if we get really tight so I think we'll be okay and also Jack Stevens is pretty solid at wing back as well he can do a job out there we have a clean bill of health. There's a couple of players needing fitness tests, but we have no injuries whatsoever. Um, as we're quite, it's just come back from a flu virus, but um, we're looking good. Fitness-wise, we're okay. I feel like we can play a full-strength team for this match. Jorginho's getting back up to fitness as well. He's played a couple of games, and uh, he's getting back um, up to match fitness after his broken ankle, so we're looking good. I'm going to make one change. I'm going to bring on Pedro for Willian, whose performances have just dipped recently. Other than that, we're looking really good. We'll also bring back in uh, David Zabacosta for Victor Moses. And seeing as it's a cup game, we're going to put Jack Butland in goal as he's been our keeper for all of these cup games. Of course, Kepa playing just in the league. Rodrigo's been in fabulous form recently. He's scored over eight in his last five games. A good match rating for the Spaniards. He's become first choice striker. It is freezing out Mandzukic and Morata, who are far from happy about it. But what do you expect when Rodrigo is scoring for fun at the moment? Now we face Liverpool in the uh, Community Shield in um, this season and it's a new look Liverpool side as I've uh, mentioned before. They've got Lataro Martinez up top, um, we've got Forsberg and Firmino also in that front three, Minkovic, Savage and Keita and Henderson in midfield, back four of Rafael Guerrero, Dan Lovren, Christopher Adger and Fabinho playing at right back, Mignolet's in goal. On the bench we've got Alisson, they've got Bartra, William Cavallio, uh, Shakiri, Lallana, Robertson and is that Curtis Jones? Curtis Jones is on the bench for a cup final. Well, there you go. So it looks a little bit rotated, but still a very good team. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we are underway. Now let's see if we can continue our trophy winning haul. Of course, we've added the Community Shield this year. Let's see if we can add another cup. We're going to go for a clean sweep. I did it in last year's game with Liverpool in the second season. We'll try it again with um, Chelsea and we'll see if we can win everything we're in. Though, coming up to half an hour, um, we, I was about to say we haven't had a shot at goal, but now we have had some. But Liverpool with more possession, so um, it's been <laughs> it's been a very quiet first half. But we're coming up to half time, and there hasn't been a single highlight yet, which uh, is not what I wanted to see. It's meant to be a big cup final, and not a lot's happened. Well, we're an hour in, and there still hasn't been a highlight in this match. I'm going attacking because I'm not having us end up run of scoring goals with this this has been a dreadful match there's 20 minutes left we're still waiting for a highlight they made a double change i'm going to do the same because this has been just awful so far Jorginho's on for off the cheek he hasn't done much and he's very tired so we're going to make that change uh pedro can we take him off maybe yeah um let's put sancho on on the right come on and let's see some highlights because i'm really not happy that we haven't seen any and we're coming up to 80 minutes this isn't what i wanted 
What a boring cup final. Come on. Well, that's the end of 90 minutes and that's the end of our run. I mean, they've trumped us in possession. Shots are about the same. We've had one half chance. There's been one half chance in this match. Right, we have got... I think we get a fourth sub. We're going to bring on Mandzukic for Rodrigo. Because he's on a 6.3 up top. That's not what I want. Extra time. I mean, this isn't going to count towards our score and run. Because we've had 90 minutes. Extra time and penalties do not count, I don't think. I can't believe that our runs ended like, like this. And I can't believe that there's been no highlights in 106 minutes of football. There has not been one highlight. That's just un insane. Unbelievable. Right, I need to make a change of some sort. Right, Zabacost is going to come off. He's exhausted. Uh... We'll move Rudiger out there. We'll bring on Christensen at centre back. And we'll just drop, drop Ludiger, R Ludiger? Rudiger back a bit. There we go. Come on, let's see a highlight, please. Something. This has been the most boring football match I've ever played. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. 121 minutes and not one highlight. Are you having a laugh? Right, auto pick. Start the penalty shoot out. I mean, the first goal we're going to see is going to be from 12 yards in a penalty shootout. That is the most boring football match I've ever played on Football Manager. Fabinho's penalty is saved. I don't care if we win this or not. This has been an awful match, and I'm really sorry. I can't do anything about it. It's just the way it falls. But Hazard hopefully is going to put this in and give us a nice early lead. He does. He smashes it in. I'm fuming. I'm mad. I'm really cross. I've played seven matches to get to this, and... We get rewarded with a bloody nil-nil after 120 minutes and not a single highlight. I'm I'm mad. Well, after two penalties each, we do lead 2-1. So we are in control of the shootout. I mean, after all that, we better win. Rafael Guerrero's up next for Liverpool. And it's saved by Jack Butler. And that's two saves that he's made now. And uh, we are firmly in control of the shootout. Manzuki is next up for us to make it 3-0. A 3-1, rather, after three each. Come on, Mario. He does well and scores. We're going to win the shootout, but it was just an extremely dull game of football. And now it's 3-1, and Henderson has to score this penalty. Otherwise, we've won the cup. So Jordan Henderson has to score this. He does. It's 3-2. But, again, it's up to us now that we just have to score. And uh, we'll see who's next to take for us and it is David Luiz who's not bad at penalties in, at all he's very good at penalties gonna step up right foot it's saved Mignolet saves it it's 3-2 we can't mess this up we, we, we cannot mess this up Mark Bartra is next for Liverpool again he has to score but we had a two goal lead in this in this shootout we can't let this slip we, I, I'm against Liverpool and I'm saying we can't let, let this slip Come on. Bartra steps up. And, oh, I think Butland did get to it, but it has gone in. And now it's... This is our last penalty, isn't it? It is. So, Sancho, Jaden Sancho has taken it. He had, he's got to score. If he scores this, it's in. But well, this should have been be this should have been finished last penalty. David Luiz should have scored. Jaden Sancho to hopefully score the winning penalty here and win the Carabao Cup... He does. There we go. It's 4-3. I mean, we, we should have won it by two. It was the most boring football match I've ever seen. I can't believe that I played seven matches to get to this and we get repaid with 120 minutes of nothing. There was still just one half chance. There was not. A, there was one half chance in that whole match. But 42 consecutive matches of scoring goals ends in the cup final against Liverpool. I can't believe that there was not one highlight in two hours of football that's just unbelievable well we've got benfica in three matches time so we're gonna play that because it's must win we trial 2-1 from the first leg so to, to i think to make up for that dismal boring game i think i'm gonna upload a video on monday and it's gonna be that match against benfica it doesn't give me much to do off screen so i think we're gonna do a bonus video and seeing as we have got all these champions league matches I think we need to switch focus and just focus on them because the league matches 
Apart from Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal, they don't look appealing. They're not of any importance, really. We just need to win as many as we can. So we're going to switch focus to the Champions League next episode, which will be on Monday. I'm going to do a bonus video because that was just not acceptable. And I'm sorry that you saw such a boring match. I'm actually thinking about it, as we're only covering two matches off screen, I'm going to do a double. Uh, it's Newcastle, who are 14th, Brighton are 15th. So I think what we'll do next time is we will do a double live come. We'll do Benfica and Newcastle. And then after that, uh, if we qualify for the quarterfinals, we'll do that. If not, we'll do Liverpool and then we'll end with Man City, Arsenal. Um, but we'll, however far we get in the Champions League, that's what we'll be covering from now on. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. And follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I can only apologise for just an extremely boring match, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. And uh, next time, uh, we'll hopefully find ourselves through in the Champions League. We've given ourselves some work to do, though. We do trial against Benfica, but we have that all-important away goal. Yeah, I'll see you next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.